All right, you guys, the time is now. I am so very excited to continue this amazing show. You guys are all here for a reason. Please put your hands together for your friend, for mine, Miss Amy Miller. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. They made me wait in that storage closet. I think that's when you know it's your first album. If you have to come out of a closet of any kind. <laughs> Nice to be back in uh, Portland. I'm not uh, from here. I'm originally from Oakland, California. Cool. No, that's nice. Couple people been to San Francisco. That's great. It's a very different place. I'm from Oakland and uh, I lived in Portland for a few few years and I always missed it. I missed home, you know? And, and I missed home because Portland was a hard place to be a single lady. Like, you guys have no sunshine and legal weed. <laughs> All the dudes were just high and sleepy. <laughs> and they just forgot to ask me out. <laughs> and I know that I'm not supposed to support street harassment of women, <laughs> but then sometimes you live in Portland, Oregon for three years and you have to travel just to remember that you're fuckable. Because the last time I was in Philly, the second that I got out of the airport, someone said, nice legs. Was he homeless? Yes. But I'll take what I can get. It's a different situation in Oakland and I always like missed the men back home, you know, cause they're a little bit more outgoing. Like you'll actually get hit on, which is nice once in a while. And um, you know, they're just like, it's, a, it's, a, it's just bolder. Like the men really go for it, you know? And um, yes, I realize there are more black men in Oakland <laughs> than in Portland, Oregon. And for whatever reason, when black men hit on me, they just are a little bit more outgoing about it. I don't think it's necessarily cultural. I just think like, you know what? It's 2016. If you're a black man and you see a lady you wanna talk to, you gotta say something quick before you're wrongfully shot by a cop. <laughs> Oh, got some officers here tonight? <laughs> oh, just other guilty white people? Mm, keep sharing those hashtags, everybody. It's true, though. Like, you have to go for it. You don't know how much time you have. And um, the problem is that you're, if you're in the heat of the moment and you hit on a lady, the thing that you might say doesn't always make the most sense. Like... Here's an example. I was at the bus stop in Oakland, California one day, and uh, I walked by this dude, and this was his line. He just goes, uh, hey, who told you you could walk around looking all sexy like that? <laughs> totally legit line in Oakland. <laughs> you can write that down. He's on your girl. First thing in the morning, you know, when she gets out of the shower. I don't know, just hit her with it. Who told you? <laughs> You could go around looking all... That question is fucking crazy. <laughs> and it is impossible to answer. <laughs> because it implies some weird shit. Okay, like number one, every morning when I get ready, if I wanna look sexy that day, I just gotta get permission from somebody first. <laughs> And then if I don't get that permission for whatever reason, like, I'm just gonna be like, you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> like, I'm so naughty or something. I don't know. I had no idea how to respond. And, uh, and so he was like, uh, well, if you don't know, then why are you doing it? <laughs> 
like, I don't know, man. Why are you hitting on me at the bus stop in the middle of a weekday? Because now I know that you don't have a job or a car. No scrubs, right? Do you know what a scrub is, sir? I think so. A scrub is a guy. <laughs> What if I just sang the whole thing and then got out of here? You're like, that's a weird album. We've heard that one. 